2022 politics is taking shape in this country. And from all indications, President Uhuru Muge Kenyatta is taking charge of his succession politics. A very interesting meeting took place today in this country. And I can spot President Uhuru Muge Kenyatta's hand in that meeting. Martha Karwa, who is the chairperson, I mean, who is the spokesperson of the Mount Kenya region? Alongside Justin Muturi, the Speaker of the National Assembly, and William Kabogo, met with one Kenya Alliance movement leadership. And after that meeting, they addressed the media, very brief address, less than a minute, I, I think. Listening to Martha Karua and Moses Wetangula addressing the press. But I want you to pay close attention to what Martha Karua is saying. Because it's going to form the basis of this analysis. I have a very brief statement today in front of you the leadership of Oka and the leadership of Mount Kenya Unity Forum. We came together to explore possibilities of working together. We belong to Kenya and none of us can do it alone. So that's what today's meeting is all about. And my colleague here is of politics at play, we must always come together, think together, talk together, act together. Oka and the uh, Mount Kenya Unit Forum have started a journey of moving together and we have had a very fruitful meeting this morning and more meetings will follow and we only can urge Kenyans to watch this space. Thank you. So in this video today, I want to try and bring to your attention the main objective of that meeting. But before we do that, if you are watching this channel for the first time, I want you to take a second or two and click the subscribe button so that next time you produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support. Without that support, this channel cannot be where it is today. Now let us get back to the main issue. But before we get back into the main issue, I have a question. Do you think a third force can emerge in this country, politically speaking? Because so far we have two horse races as far as 2022 general election is concerned. There's Israel Odinga and there is uh, William Ruto. William Ruto has been campaigning for four years. And today he was in Rift Valley. In, fa in fact, for the last two days, the deputy president is in Rift Valley to consolidate his support base. Today he had a very successful rally in Kericho. And I'll do a comprehensive analysis about that particular visit, trip by the deputy president. Raila Molodinga just came back from uh, West Pokot. And he held a meeting at Orange House where he met with various lobby groups which will be campaigning for him. And then later on, Raila Odinga received the women rep for Marsabit who defected from Jubilee Party to ODM Party, which is also very significant. But let me focus on the meeting which took place today. Why do you think that meeting took place and who convened it? I've always opined on this platform that the gentleman by the name Moses Korea was, is, and will remain a Trojan host for President Uru Mugai Kenyatta. So Moses Korea, alongside uh, Mwangi Kunjuri, later on joined by Martha Karua, later on joined by Kabogo, and now Justin Muturi, formed what they are calling the Mount Kenya Unity Forum. The main objective of this Mount Kenya Unity Forum 
is one to take charge of the Mount Kenya succession politics. And William Kabogo always puts it very simple and plainly that to zipo jipanga tutapangwa. The idea behind this is to allow the region to take charge of their succession politics. Because the succession politics in the larger Mount Kenya region was being dictated by the deputy president, Dr. William Samiruto. So personally, I've always believed that President Uru Muge Kenyatta is actually behind this Mount Kenya Unity Forum. And when this meeting took place, there were many people who believed because they believed so and they're right that Uhuru Kenyatta is unveiling another team which is going to support and not Raila Molodinga. That Uhuru Kenyatta, because there was Gideon Moy and there was Justin Muturi, that that's the team the president is going to support. I'm looking at it from a different perspective. That the presence of Gideon Moy in that meeting from One Kenya Lands Movement and the presence of Martha Karwa and William Kabogo from Mount Kenya Unity Forum, those are the faces of President Uhuru Muge Kenyatta in this particular meeting. So that after this meeting, Gideon Moy drove to State House. Of course, Uhuru Kenyatta is out of the country, by the way. And briefed the president. He placed the phone call. Martha Karwa, if you ask me, must be watched very closely. She could be Raila Odinga's running mate in 2022. Justin Muturi was well placed, but at some point he lost direction, including the statement he made just the other day. But why was this meeting convened? Number one is to create a third force. Creating a third force or something similar to a third force is significant for President Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Morodin. Uhuru Kenyatta will hold Jubilee NDC sometimes next month. But it will be held before Raila Odinga officially declares his interest for the presidency. So the strategy has always been that once Jubilee and ODM are merged or are, in, are uh, entered, enters into a coalition arrangement, then they'll give room to these small parties to join them. So that's when these parties will start joining them. And today something happened at Wiper Party. David Musila rejoined Wiper Party. That's very big in my view for Wiper. He's joining Wiper from Jubilee. And there were stories that Wiper Party was actually planning to join Raila Mulodinga. He's been expressing something like that. But the truth of the matter is that this meeting is creating a third force. It would be easier for the president to manage that third force to support whoever he wants. I don't want to say that the president is going to support Raila or is going to support someone else. But you all know that President Ru Kenyatta has made the decision to support Raila Mulodinga in 2022. So that, that's the first thing of this meeting. That's the first objective of this meeting. The second objective, in my view, is that these guys, that is Martha Karwa, William Kabogo, and Justin Muturi to some extent, are running errands for President Uru Kenyatta. There is something the president has tasked, tasked them to do. And that's exactly what they are doing. Martha Karwa, in my view, is going to play a, cre a critical role and a key role around the president. Martha Karwa has indicated that she's going to run for the Kirinyaga gubernatorial seat. But I tend to think that something bigger could be waiting for Martha Karwa. The reason the president is using this team is that they are non-aligned. Kabogo is coming out as someone who is non-aligned. 
Karua is coming out of someone who is non-aligned. Moses Kuria was with Ruto, is now out. So he's also coming out as non-aligned. And that's why it's easy to use them to meet with Kalonzo, to meet with Weta, and to meet with Musaila Madavadi. So I tend to think that these guys are working for President Uhuru Mugakinyata. Number three, the objective, the third objective of this meeting is to explore the, the possibility of working with Raila Moludinga. I know each of these guys were asked. Of course, Karwa is not running for the presidency. Kabog is not running for the presidency. Muturi, I don't think. The only two guys is Mudavadi, Weta. Sorry, Mudavadi and Kalonzo. Weta is not running. So they looked at the scenarios and then they were told, why can't you guys work with Raila Morodinga? What are the possibilities of working with Raila Morodinga? So I expected Musele Medavari to rise up and say, I'm not going to work with Raila Morodinga because of A, B, C, D. Someone else because of A, B, C, D. And then these guys probably justified why they should work with Raila Morodinga ahead of 2022 general election. Tonalewana. So I think this meeting explored the, the possibilities of working with Raila Amolo Odinga. And number four, in my view, is that Martha Karwa is actually stamping her authority as the next Mount Kenya big pair. The moment Martha Karwa was appointed as the spokesperson of the larger Mount Kenya region, it became clear that she was going to take charge. So Justin Muturi attending this meeting, because probably she was, he was invited. So Justin Muturi attending this meeting is actually attending not as the Speaker of the National Assembly, not as the preferred presidential candidate, but as a guest, someone who was invited to attend this meeting. And by this, Martha Karwa is emerging, because who read the statement, if you ask me? Martha Karwa. In one Kenya last movement, they couldn't agree on who was to read the statement. So they settled on Moses Wetangula. Why? Because Moses Wetangula does not have interest in 2022. So Gideon Moe reading this statement would have been interpreted differently. Kalonzo, it would have been interpreted differently. Musalia Mdavadi, it would have been interpreted differently. So basically, Martha Karwa is taking charge as the leader of the Mount Kenya region. And lastly, it's about 2022 and the Mount Kenya politics. Mount Kenya is bragging of numbers. And you can't deny them those numbers. These leaders want to make sure that they take charge of their region's politics. But there's a gentleman there called William Samoy Ruto who went to the region and got hold of the voters there. So the voters are currently with the Deputy President, Dr. William Samoy Ruto. So the question probably which this team asked during the meeting is how can we lock out William Samoy Ruto out of the Mount Kenya region? Locking Ruto out of Mount Kenya region would only mean two things. There's Raila phobia and Raila mania. Those who love Raila and those who hate Raila. Those who hate Raila will not vote for Raila Molodinga. So what they are doing is that they are coming as an alternative to Raila and to Ruto. So by doing that, it means if they'll be able to win certain hearts to their side, then they'll explain to them probably why Ruto is not the right guy. So ultimately that will mean, because any, any vote which is not lost in Mount Kenya region is a loss to the DP. And that's why the deputy president is trying so hard to create a perception that is the kingpin there. Look at Keto Aruguru. Keto Aruguru was in, in UDA, defected to Jubilee, came back to UDA. Wamuchomba was in Jubilee, was in UDA, went to Jubilee, came back. But the way they have been received, the way that defection has been treated, is something which shows you that the deputy president is actually keen on stamping his authority. But these guys are telling him, when it comes to the larger Mount Kenya region, we are here. I don't know what you think, but let me hear your thoughts on this matter. And for those who are watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two. Click the subscribe button so that next time you produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue. Thank you guys for your continued support. Without that support, we can't be where we are today. Thank you guys and may you have 
a good day bye bye